Hi everyone, um, this is just a quick video on the hay dogs on a 336 baler. And I've set out a couple items right here. Here's the shaft uh, to uh, the hay dogs. Of course we have the springs, um, little keeper right here. And then this here's a bushing that I have here. And I'm gonna show you how this all goes together. And one of the problems that you've probably found is that when you go to tie your bales, going out through the field, and all of a sudden you're tying and tying and then it quits then it starts missing a bunch of them and you can get in the manual and there's a whole troubleshooting section in there um, but if your hay dogs aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing your tie system is just it's not going to work for you it's really a pretty simple fix and uh, uh hope hope uh what i've learned here uh, i'm going to pass it on and hope it helps you out Okay, so what we have here, this is the shaft, and it sits in the forward section here, right behind, uh, uh, right where your feeder forks go in. And uh, there's a, a bracket that it slides into on one side, and it slides into on the other, and your hay dog will be sitting in uh, right here, and right here, and you can actually see where the wear is in between there's where these hay dogs uh, have been sitting. And this is where the cotter peeing goes to to keep it in place and you're going to see here how bad this wear is this is from years and years of this banging around in there because there's it's not on a bearing or anything like that it's just metal against metal and this is really soft and here you're going to see the other side yeah they're just wore out pretty good so what happens is, is that shaft gets in there instead of being straight and both of them pulling at the same time when your springs on there evenly this thing's cockeyed in there. And so one of your hay dogs will be going down and the other might be staying up and you're gonna miss a tie. Um, problem I was having, I was getting a, a, a second knot on uh, one of the bill hooks and I thought it was a bill hook problem. I got into it further and it wasn't a bill hook problem. In fact, I had quite a few problems and I'll kind of go over that real quick. Anyway, this is what that shaft will look like. You can get this, um, online you can get a kit a couple good places can offer them you can also go down to your uh, metal supplier this is a half inch uh, diameter rod and uh, you can drill a couple holes in here the same spacing you can do the same thing um, <clears throat> one of the things that uh, if you go to put these back in there's just going to be a, a spacer almost like a washer that goes on there and there's a lot of play that goes in there and this is just going to keep banging around uh, and this problem is going to happen again. <clears throat> this little bushing right here is uh, it's a collar and you're going to see these uh, set screws in here. You can get these down at the hardware store for about six bucks. It's a half inch. You can slide this on here and um, if I find the right spot on here, this is the old one so it's actually in kind of rough shape, but it goes right on there. And it's snug. It just it just has a couple thousandths movement on there, and that makes it really, really super nice. So then you can snug this thing down, um, and then I'm going to show what you do with the rest of that. The wear will no longer be here and here. You won't have that wear anymore. Um, the wear will now be right in here where your hay dogs ride, and you can replace this easy, and you can replace a hay dog real easy. But once those um, support brackets in the old baler give out, you're in, you're in for a ride trying to get those replaced. So this is how this slides on right here, okay? And so now we'll go take a look at the back and I'll show you how this is all in there together. Okay, now we're in the back of the baler right here. Um, these, of course, are your feeder forks right here. And this whole unit right in here that you're seeing right in here, this is the support. So it's a uh, support assembly, okay? And this is also where your, um, your knotters are. So uh, one of the things that's real important here with this is that you need to make sure that this isn't bent. Um, you start putting high horsepower tractors on here and uh, running big bales through here, and it's gonna bend right down in here. Um, there's just nothing here to hold this thing. So right over here is one of the supports and you'll see how small this is and that's part of this bigger assembly 
Then your other one is right here where this goes. But what happens is this shaft bangs back and forth in there. Just, just starts, and it starts wearing out. It's just metal on metal here and here. So what I've done is I've spot welded these bigger collars on here, not just a bushing, but this big collar. This is all solid now. And I took the movement out of this shaft and the movement now pivots right here. Um, this will never wear out again. When you weld here, you just need a couple spot welds on here. You don't have to make it pretty like you're stacking dimes and all that. Is um, You can see there's hardly any, any room to move down in here um, when you're doing these welds. Uh, so you want to make sure that that's, um, it's just solid. Solid on there is what you're looking for. Um, in the event you have to get them out of there, you can cut this weld back off there with no problem. You want to stack those washers on there good right there, and you don't want any movement. Just a couple thousandths play in there. Um, I have a background as in the aviation industry, and uh, so um, I like things to be fairly snug um, and uh, a little bit of movement in there, they're gonna wear a lot better. Uh, so anyway, you'll see where I put in some uh, fender washers right here because I had to make a big press and try and straighten this bracket back out. Uh, it, had, it had been beat up pretty good. So we got that all straightened back out um, and that's the assembly. Now we come into the front side, or I'm sorry, the back side here, and you're gonna see this clearance right down in here. And you're gonna wanna make sure that that clearance is in there. Um, that shaft goes around. You see where mine has been real, let me see if I can get that to where it's gonna get there. It's real shiny right down in there. Let's see. And um, you don't want that. That's where it was rubbing, okay? And uh, so got the new uh, springs in there. So let's just take a look. And uh, there's one of the hay dogs. Get my finger out of there. One of the hay dogs there. And there's another hay dog right there. That, that piece with the rubber on it. Right there. That's a hay dog. So that needs to go up and down the same time this other one's going up and down. When they do, this thing will tie like a dream. And you'll see that right there. It's getting ready to do another one. So um, it'll, it'll work really, really well for you. Uh, no problems. There's a couple other pictures. You can see the springs down in there. The right hay dog spring, the left hay dog spring right there. Yep. Okay. Um, once again, we'll just come right up here real quick and we'll look in here. And then you can see, get a close up there for you and uh, see how that goes together right in there. Really super simple to do. I am not a welder by any means. Um, this is held together really super well. And uh, um, I'm really glad that I did it. Uh, very inexpensive. Um, I have about 25 bucks in parts right there. So uh, super, super simple to do. And your baler will work really, really great. Really, really great. So I hope this helps and thanks for watching.